So welcome to the chemotherapy. In this section we will fight against bacteria, viruses and fungi. So first we will discuss protein synthesis inhibitors. So what are protein synthesis inhibitors? These are the drugs which inhibit bacterial ribosome 70S. Bacterial ribosome is basically composed of 30S and 50S, both combined to form 70S. So whenever bacterial ribosome 70S will be inhibited, there will be no replication of the DNA. So no replication, there will be no further growth of bacteria. There, the growth of the bacteria will be stopped. So first we will discuss tetracycline and then we will discuss the other protein synthesis inhibitors. So tetracycline and in every class of the drug, first we will just remember the name of the drugs with the given mnemonic. And then we will study in the detail after that. So first we will study now tetracycline. Tetracycline is the name indicate tetra means four and cyclines cycles rings. So it consists of four rings which are fused with each other. Tetracycline is basically bacteriostatic. What is static? Static means to stop. To stop the bacteria. Stops growth of bacteria. Bacterial growth is stopped by tetracycline. So what is the mnemonic of that tetracyclines? It's tetraminidoxythem. 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 And the name of the drugs? Tetracycline, minocycline, doxycycline, dimaclocycline. Tetracycline, minocycline, doxycycline, dimaclocycline. Tetracycline, minocycline, doxycycline, dimaclocycline. Now come on and move on to the mechanism. Its mechanism is quite simple with the drug, with given diagram. So what's its mechanism? Tetracycline, whether it's tetracycline, minocycline, doxycycline or dimeclocycline. I've just taken it. It will just go to the bacteria. It will go by the passive transport. No need to give energy. No energy needed. It's not active transport. It's just passive transport. It will just go by itself. It will go inside bacteria, it will concentrate intracellularly, it will bind then to the 30S subunit. Whenever it will bind to the 30S subunit, it will block the excess of the amino acyl transfer RNA to the messenger RNA template. So now come on, let's focus on the figure. Here it's given in the red uh, writing the tetracycline that will come to the 30S, it will bind to the 30 as subunit and it will just it has just blocked the excess of amino acyl transfer RNA to the messenger RNA template. So now we will discuss the antibacterial spectrum. Uh, I know you all remember the previous drug which I told you that like tetracycline, minocycline, doxycycline and dimaclocycline. Tetracycline minocycline, doxycycline and dimaclocycline. So we have two armies in the antibacterial spectrum. One is our tetracycline army which is our army and other one is our enemy which are bacteria. So for the bacteria you just remember the mnemonic 3gas.com 3gas.com is our enemy. So our enemy are little bit you know they are they have increase in number from us. They outnumber us. So for uh, that mnemonic, you remember the three things: 3GAS.com. So 3G gram-positive cocci, gram-positive bacilli, gram-negative rods, and then A anaerobic organisms as spirochetes, C chlamydia, or others, and M mycoplasma. So in the gram-positive cocci, you must remember Staph aureus and Staph pneumoniae, and then gram-positive bacilli, you must remember Bacillus anthrax, which causes anthrax, and then gram-negative rods, Brucellia species, and Vibro cholera. Vibro cholera mainly causes cholera. For that, you have to take one tetracycline plus gentamicin. And that then anaerobic organism, our main enemy is also that which causes cholesterol perfringi, which causes gas gangrene and cholesterol tetany, which causes tetanus. And then spirochetes, in which spirochete one of the main bug is Borrelia burgdorferi. It's also our big enemy. It causes Lyme disease. So main feature of the Lyme disease is the bull eye appearance of the lesion skin lesions and then chlamydia it causes it causes sexually transmitted disease like urethritis and pelvic inflammatory disease and lymphogranuloma venarum and then we have others in others we have rickettsia rickettsii it causes rocky mountain spotted fever 
can't see or can't see causes rocky mountain spotted fever we have mycoplasma pneumoniae which in which includes mycoplasma pneumoniae which one of the main drug of causing community acquired pneumonia so we have three gas.com and we have tetracycline minocycline doxycycline and maclocycline they will just go and they will fight against three gas.com and i know we will win for sure and now our enemy is also now so much clever that you know they have developed the resistance how they have developed the resistance that they have developed the magnesium dependent active flux pump that will f flux you know that will just pump out our drug from the bacteria and they they have also developed the enzymatic inactivation of the drug the drug whenever it will go inside the bacteria it will be enzymatically inactivated so um, there will be no use of that drug so absorption you have to remember three most important points never ever take tetracycline with the dairy foods and also with the cations like magnesium and aluminium what they going to do they will just uh, impair the absorption of the tetracycline and then we have distribution it distribute mainly in the liver kidney skin calcification tissue and that of the cns and it's important to take it on empty stomach because it's it is its absorption is very good on empty stomach now we will move on to the adverse effect number one adverse effect most important one it causes gastric discomfort other one is that will causes discoloration of the teeth and then there is hepatotoxicity then phototoxicity and the last one most important most important never ever take it in pregnancy never ever take it in pregnancy thank you that's all from the tetracycline